We are sitting here looking in this direction at uh, a picture of me breaking ground for the auditorium, and in this direction at a bust of my father for whom the auditorium is named. He was president of ASU from 1932 to 1959. And just so viewers don't think that you're winking at me or them, you are fighting a medical condition here. Yes, I have some weird thing going on with my eye. I don't think it's serious. I think it's going to go away, and I would never, ever wink at you, Bob. <laughs> You think we may look back at 2018 as a watershed year. How come? Perhaps our um, politics, um, and this may be uh, not just about Arizona, but I think particularly about Arizona, that perhaps our politics is returning to more of a um, pragmatic, um, let's figure out how to make things work um, state of affairs rather than a philosophical debate about who can score the most points. Why was it that Democrats uh, got smoked consistently from 2008 to 2016? Arizona during that period was dominated by a particular strain of Republican politics that we now see um, infecting national politics even more, which is a kind of libertarian populism. We treated the state during that period as kind of a, an intriguing experiment in how much can we get rid of, how, how much can we lower taxes, how much can we um, shed what have been some of the conventional functions of government uh, over time. And now we're kind of coming back around to realizing that trying to figure out how to make government work, how to make society work, how to keep things moving forward is really the basic function uh, of government. Um, why it captured during that particular period of time I think is an interesting question. I'm not sure I can answer that. Part of it may be uh, a consequence of Red for Ed and realizing that we've stripped government down so low we're not really paying for educating our kids anymore. Uh, part of it may be a consequence of Trump's election and a reaction to a realization that, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, we didn't exactly mean this. And so I think, and I hope, that it is a return to an era of uh, more pragmatic governance where government is about doing the things that only government can do and that government needs to do. As Arizona has been good at managing water, um, you think our identity for the future uh, is to be among the best areas and communities to manage climate change. That doesn't sound like Arizona to me. We actually are a place with relatively few natural disasters and I think that will continue. The, the challenge of climate change here is a slow moving challenge. It's a little hotter every year, a little drier every year. Now those are big things. And the reason I think we are capable, perhaps, of dealing with that is political response moves slowly as well. And part of what's so challenging about the catastrophic view of climate change is it's easier to disbelieve it than it is to cope with catastrophic things that haven't yet happened. I think the incremental nature of the challenge for us is something we can incrementally deal with in response. But I think our economy has begun to change more toward significant employment uses driving it. Some of it because we don't have the natural disasters. State Farm is on the shore of the Tempe Town Lake because if you run an insurance company and your job is to pick up the phone when a disaster occurs, the guy answering the phone can't be where the disaster <laughs> is. And lo and behold, Phoenix is a good place to put them because we have very reliable electric power. Um, we don't lose electricity very often, and we don't have a lot of natural disasters. So State Farm's already there, um, Nationwide is looking around, uh, Allstate is looking around. It's a good place for them. Now, the, those are not real high-paying jobs. They're not bad jobs, and jobs are jobs. Jobs are a good thing. And so I think realizing that factor as a piece of economic development, we were sort of late into figuring that out. Um, companies and locational consultants really got it before people here got it. Uh, we've now got it, and, and so we're, we're, we're looking at that. And that, I think, is a piece of saying, look, we're more ready for the challenges that are coming in America and the world than a lot of places are.